What's up guys, it's Man Like Hark here and today I'm coming in with another story time for you guys about my first time doing codeine. So hope you guys do enjoy this video. Drop a like if you guys enjoy it and don't forget to check out my Instagram. Links in the description below and I will be putting some more um more stuff on Instagram soon. So um I hope you guys do follow that and um keep yourself updated on YouTube videos and you guys will know when new YouTube videos are coming out, obviously it's almost every one Monday. But we are going to have different thumbnails that you can choose. Yeah, subscriber counts and shit. You know, we're 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 going all out. So let's dive into this story time because um I need to get through this quick because I don't have much time. So okay, uh, first time doing coding. So this wasn't uh, this story time wasn't um. That long ago, this uh, story time was actually last month, 2022, bro, you know, it's uh, May 2022, the same time I actually tried drinking lean. If you haven't seen that YouTube video, there'll be a card above and a um, like a YouTube video thingy at the end of this video. So make sure you do stay on this video till the end and uh, you will find out about that. So basically, this coding thing was... Um, Something that uh, I was I, like, I found out a while back. Um, it's, it's something you can get high off. It, exactly hydrocodone, or, or hydrocodone, as some people say. Uh, some people just call it hydros. And um, apparently, you say people say you could get a euphoria feeling, like you feel like you're smoking weed or drinking lean, but you just don't see shit. You just you just feel lifted and numb. So I was like, all right, okay. This could um, either end very well or very bad. So um, I, you know, went on the specific place that almost every crack addict goes on. If you're a crack addict, you know, you know, you go on flipping like Reddit um, to find flipping uh, measurements and shit. And I and I mentioned this in my last story time that Reddit is the place to go so yeah i did put off this idea just like my lean video i'm like if you don't watch the lean video this video will be kind of confusing so i suggest you go watch that and then come back and watch this but yeah again um i wasn't really wanting to fuck with painkillers but um i knew about codeine and getting high a while back and um i got this idea again when my dad got a, pre a prescription for um back pain and uh it was because it, his back was hurting a lot and um yeah it was like uh he got a prescription for back pain pills and it wasn't like three or four days later until i realized I checked the pills they were like like they were falling out the cupboard and stuff so i was going to clear it up and then i read what he actually got and guess what die hydrocodeine and i was like we're gonna get high boys we well, you know this is my one and only chance you can't get codeine any other way Except for medical forms, easily, but getting illegal wise, I'm I'm pretty sure I would have found something. But yeah, I mean, it was, these were free, bro. NHS, bro. A shout out to the NHS, bro. Getting us free, getting us free fucking medications to get high on and stuff, you know. Yeah. So um, yeah. Uh, got my my dad got a prescription of codeine pills, and it was three or four days later till I realized that they were dihydrocodeine, and basically, codeine. Like I said, gets you like high and stuff, but I knew about this a while back, and then I really actually wanted to do this after my dad got the prescription. So um, I was like, okay, you know what? Well, let's just get some. Let's just get that like, high or something, innit? Um, I'm not really wanting to fuck with this, but um, let's go on like you know Reddit and uh, see um, well what we can do with this. So the first idea I had um, was. I was told to take like around four pills. I had like ten milligram ones. I'm just gonna tell you it. So I was told to get like forty milligrams or something. I don't suggest you guys do this, but if you guys are gonna do this, I suggest you go on Reddit and um, see how much you would need for you to get high. But that again, don't recommend it, bro. It's 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 not a feeling. Obviously, these are just experiences that I've had. I'm not. I don't actually do this on a daily. I'm not. Uh, I'm not fucking 
clap, bro. I don't do this on a daily. So, yeah, I'm just telling you my experience about this. And um, it was a uh, shitty experience, but um, it was also an alright experience. Uh, like, going on the Reddit and stuff, and I found, like, 40 milligrams would be good enough for me. And I was like, okay, you know what? Let's screw it. Let's just try it and see where we end up, bro. We'll either end up dead or we'll end up alive. Which which way, you know? Um, so, yeah. I was about to pop, like, I had, like, four pills. I took four pills out of the thingy um they were like 500 milligram ones and these were like 490 milligram paracetamol and 10 milligram codeine and i was like oh shit i could kill myself with codeine let's just make sure that don't happen so i was like okay um i guess we should actually like measure out and probably see if i can take this paracetamol i knew i could take the codeine up to like um uh, 150 milligrams max that people would say would be 150 but you actually overdose about that 300 so i was like you know what screw it and um i actually still do have those pills i'm never doing it again though but yeah um i was told to go for like a um do like a cold water extraction to get rid of paracetamol so uh, i mean if you if you don't know what cold water extraction is i suggest you just watch a video of it like somewhere and you you'll probably find out what it is but um yeah so it was like nine o'clock in the evening um it was the weekend and i was like popping four pills into my hand and i was about to take them all straight um i've i've heard some people have done that nothing's happened to them they've just gotten a bit high and i was like okay um i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna actually do a cold water extraction so i'm like literally doing it at like nine o'clock at night bro no one's home you know um just doing the extraction at two hours before daddy gets home bro so man's just doing cold water extraction getting rid of it then freezing it and the filtering and all i'm gonna tell you is the pure form you put a bit of that onto your tongue that's like a burn bro that's like a burn that's like three paracetamols in one bro um but yeah eventually i got rid of the um paracetamol so i was just like should i take this shot straight or should i mix it with like something so i was like okay i'll mix it slight tap of water and um a bit of coke mixed it uh, i was like it filled up like around half a glass I took that shot all in one, bro, and I was like, okay, yeah, um, this is like, uh, shit, tastes shit, um, I bet that's what Coke used to taste like when they put cocaine in it, um, so yeah, uh, it was like a, um, it was fizzy, obviously, uh, it was cold, refreshing, honestly, yeah, it was, it was very refreshing, but, um, um, the, the medication made it taste shit, so I'm not gonna lie, it's, uh, horrible, I don't, I don't, I don't recommend you guys doing it, because, uh, first of all, if you don't die from the fucking, um, burn that you're gonna get off the medication on your tongue, you're probably gonna die off something else, bro, um, so yeah, I take that whole shot, and I'm, like, waiting, like, an hour or something, and I'm, like, okay, you know, I'm starting to feel numb, you know, uh, big taps, like, like small light light taps on the knee don't feel that shit bro like like taps like this taps like that nowhere you can't feel that but yeah so all right bro i'm back sorry i was like gone for like a minute or two not like a minute or two actually i was gone for like half an hour or 60 minutes but i'm back recording um i went and had some pizza um so yeah um I am back in this story time, and now we're going to talk about what I was feeling like, and we're just going to go off from where I left off. Alright, so like I was saying, you don't feel anything into your knees or nothing. Your arms, like, are really numb. Oh, sorry, that's my cat in the back, bro. She's been a bitch. Anyway, so, um, yeah, you feel really numb, but it feels good, honestly. Um, uh, what I could say is, uh, that high, I did not sleep that night till, like, 2 o'clock in the morning, alright? So, I took that, like, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, whole drinking of that shot, yeah, and you know, my dad was home, my dad came home, like, 10, bro, and I was like, <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I was, like, not feeling excellent, bro, I was feeling high, bro, you feel like you're lifted, bro, but you feel, like, really numb, I, I experimented with a lot of things, poking myself with a pen slightly, 
nothing tapping i started listening to music after that bro music just hits different i'm not gonna lie okay um if you guys do do it do try to listen to music because that's epic and it's awesome but other than that uh that's all i got for this story time I and mean, it wasn't as good as last week's but i'm gonna be out with another more epic amazing story time next week so uh, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on those and um uh, I recommend you like this story time if you like it or dislike it. I don't care honestly. But what I want you to actually do is let me know in the comments what are the kind of story times you like to hear because I think I've got a few. Um, I do need to go out, like I said, and make more, like do more shit so I can get more story times. But you know, so that's that's how it is. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.